Hi guys, so now we are doing something called a refinement, which is a revision appointment. So we've had a patient who's worn about 20 aligners or so uh, over the last four or five months, and it's come to the point where aligners are running out and we're doing the first refinement. So obviously the minimum records we need is a new scan and new photographs, and sometimes we'll take an X-ray as well if there's um, a valid need for it. So what we're doing here is uh, right now behind me, there's a scan happening. We usually leave the attachments in place. We're not gonna remove attachments unless we need to remove them or replace them. Um, so the scan's taken with the attachments. If you're doing PVS, you use um, the same attachments, leave the buttons on as well if you bond it and try and do a really good PVS without any tears. Um, and we'll do the photograph. So we're doing the three extra orals, which is frontal rest, frontal smiling and profile and your five intraorals, which is intraoral center, left, right, occlusal upper and occlusal lower. So it's a minimum set of photos and you're gonna see that right now happening and then we're gonna come back and discuss how we're going to tweak the treatment plan for the next set of aligners. Um, I'll be with you shortly. So guys, what we have is taken records for the patient. Um, our smile shot shows that the upper incisors have extruded a bit. So this was a mild open bite case. Uh, class three with asymmetry, you can see the upper and lower midlines don't meet. And we had decided the objectives were to accept the midline and not try to correct them because the patient preferred a shorter treatment time. So what we really wanted to do was improve smile aesthetics, arch symmetry, and provide a bit more incisal display on smiling. So obviously we have the correct attachments here, your uh, extrusion attachments are all in place. And uh, what we're going to now do is continue a bit of extrusion. We think it's pretty good, but we're going to just extrude another millimeter. As we extrude a millimeter, we'll tell our technician to intrude our upper posteriors like a relative extrusion by a millimeter as well okay because every force has an equal and opposite reaction so they'll be intruding we've asked the patient to wear asymmetric class 3 elastics so we've also done some IPR here today while she's here so we can post the aligners okay and what she's going to wear if you look at it this side is quite good class 1 Okay, it's close to class one. So we're gonna make her wear an elastic, maybe just at night, a light holding elastic. The one that I love is Fox uh, from Omco. And because this side, there is much more significant class three, and it's significant enough that we can't really change it without extraction, to be honest, but we can improve it a bit. And what we're gonna do is try and get a heavy elastic here for her. So it, it may not correct, but we're going to try that. So something like a rabbit, if she could wear it. Uh, a bit of IPR here to continue alleviating the crowding. Of course, we're going to close the diastema in the next um, set of aligners. We continue extrusion and we're pretty close to the finish line because the patient's also quite happy with a small aesthetic. Now, I will also ask my technician to expand her upper teeth a little bit more. Okay, so I think we can do a bit more expansion. The premolars are leaning in um, and we can upright the lowers a bit more by about a millimeter. One thing you notice here, see how the 1.5 is extruded and 1.4 hasn't? So we need to level those gingival heights. So definitely 1.5 has to intrude slightly. So we'll be telling our technician to intrude 1.5 by about a millimeter and then 1.7, 1.6 by about half a mil. Okay, keep the 1.4 as is. We're going to extrude one three to two three by a millimeter, and we're going to intrude two six two seven again by about half a mil. Now you also notice two seven has, if we really zoom in here, it needs a bit of buccal root torque, right? Which is the root moving buccally and crown a bit lingually. 
you should never see the palatal cusp hanging down like that. So we are going to do, ask our technician to do about five degrees of buccal root torque on the 27, okay? So, um, and you could even ask for, if the patient doesn't have third molars and there's adequate bone, uh, you could ask for a half a mil of on mass distalization of quadrant three to help you with the correction of midline. It's mostly dental. It's not really that the teeth are moving bodily. It, probably they're a bit tipping a bit back, uh, but it can help you to improve that midline. Um, and while we're doing that, we're also gonna look at the tips of the teeth. Two one needs mesial root tip. One one probably needs distal root tip by two degrees. So I'm now looking at the fine details. One two needs to come down. I think I like the tip and I like the angulation. So we're gonna maintain the angulation and the tip. We're gonna simply extrude it, okay? Um, and two, two, perhaps the tip could improve. Now these are things, if you only focus on the model, you will, you will actually be misled. So you must look at the smile, the general smile view, the macro view, and then the micro view of the smile with the patient there in the chair and the photographs. Because if you do not correlate all of them, and you only focus on the model, you will get it wrong. So these are our instructions to our technician. What we're gonna tell the patient is now they have to pause their treatment and stay in their current aligner for two or three weeks until the new aligner comes. Uh, because we're not adding any new attachments, we're simply gonna post them to her. We did the IPR needed today, um, and she can literally put them on, start wearing them, and do her dental monitoring. Um, uh, at the required interval. For this case, I think we're doing seven to 10 day changes. And as long as the aligners are fitting well, you could tweak it. If you think they're not fitting well, you could do 14 day changes. Uh, but we basically are monitoring virtually as well on a very regular interval to make sure aligners are tracking. So thank you very much. And I hope you enjoyed learning about how you do a refinement.